Welcome everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build your ace deck. Uh, we're breaking it down to staples or cards you must play in the deck and our tech slash toolbox cards, uh, which you can use to fill in the gaps. And so just looking at it like framework for ace, uh, staples will consist of about 30 to 32 cards with uh, seven to eight events in there. We'll be playing about six to eight additional events. Uh, four of those will be cards with counter and then about 10 to 12 bodies. Uh, six to eight of those are going to be 2Ks for a non-striker build. If you find content like this of value, if you could just do me a favor, 90% uh, of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. If you could just hit the subscribe, thumbs up the video. The more subscribers I have, the easier it is for me to partner with other content creators. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, sample breakdown is here with this deck that I've been playing. You've got 18 events, 11 are from the tech pool. We've got 10 2Ks, 6 from the pool with 4 Otama. We have 3 big swingers, 3 ace. And the rest are staples, and you can cut down on events and adjust according to your play style, but this is a great place to get started. Uh, for overall deck building, what I do to determine if a card is good are just some things to consider. What are my curves? On my four dawn turn, how many cards are playable? Slash, what do I do on my four, six, seven dawn turns? Uh, is this card worth the cost? We don't want to pay 6 Dawn for a card that does something similar or better for less. Uh, think round table. Do I need to minus 10k? Is this worth 4 Dawn? Uh, and then also look at the meta and ask how many matchups does this help against? When is this card useless? When in doubt, always play test and see how often it comes up and you can adjust from there. All right, so on the staples, you will want more 2Ks. I recommend between 8 to 12 2Ks, but we definitely want to play for Otama. Otama has synergy with the control and destruction abilities of red. Uh, we have Ace. Ace is a big body that gets benefits from the white beard pirates type, giving you rush and making it easy to swing over characters to clean the board. Izo searches your swingers and any tech cards. Uh, access to the entire white beard card type is huge uh, with your blockers and heavy hitters. Buggy, some people opt to not play buggy and that is fine, but he makes every event searchable, which allows you to tech more events because they're no longer hit or miss in hand, they become searchable. Uh, then 5-drop Marco, he makes any event no longer dead in your hand because they can keep him alive, uh, which expands the events you can play. Plus, he's a 6k swinger. 4-drop Marco, with the Whitebeard engine, this blocker, once you're at 2 life, uh, the best way to think of it is you can combo out of any attack for one Whitebeard card. Flame Emperor, this card is exclusive to the Ace Leader and is one of the best cards with removal better than Jet Pistol that can also give you a double attack swing. On top of that, it's also Jet Pistol out of life. You can still pop a 6k if you pull it out of life should you choose. Whitebeard Pirate is an event that you can use to search for Marco. It's also searchable off of Buggy to help push uh, for Ezo to keep digging for the cards you need or, of course, to grab one of the Marcos, depending on the situation. And if you play Whitebeard, you can add Whitebeard. That is it for the staples. So at the end, we have 30 to 32 cards, depending on your ratios. And you'll have about 20 cards you'll be able to play with from the text. Uh, so on to the text. And I put the other 2Ks in here instead because ratios vary. Um, please keep in mind, I kept this broader with cards. I personally um, I personally wouldn't play, but have been solid cards and want to encourage innovation in the deck. First up is our big swingers slash boss cards. We have Shanks. He has Rush, and so he gets two swings in the time Whitebeard gets one. Uh, value swing plus uh, he gets around small blockers like in law and then we have uh, edward newgate or whitebeard he can pop small blockers if you don't play back to back nine drops and he gives you a nice buffer to 7k which is solid against most decks uh, and against low to the ground zoro um 
overall, I feel like these are very interchangeable. I've been pl I've played around with both. I I don't think it really makes a difference. I feel like it's more play style, but I do know Shanks in the White Beard has seen a lot more play. But the benefit of playing Newgate is he is searchable off of Ezo. And then we have the two Ks. Uh, you can play Jozu. He's a rusher uh, for one dawn once you have two or less life. So very solid card. Uh, it comes up. I play four. I've also played him at two. And then you have Makino. She does the boost of your one drops. Uh, you know, she, everybody's seen her in Zoro. You can use it for Buggy or Izo. Get six five seven k swings depending on you know how you want to go about doing that but low cost high swing efficiency uh, i've played her at four i've played her at two brook i personally wouldn't play him but he isn't bad so i felt like he deserved here if you if brooks like your card uh you know you're welcome to play him he works two dawn so he's pretty much like free for playing if you want to think about it like that and then we have Mask Deuce. If control is your thing, you might find a copy or two in your build. But personally, I've never played him. Plus, he's a spade pirate, so it only feels right that he deserves a... You know, he has a chance at a spot in Ace. Then we have our choice of bodies slash swingers. Um, you could potentially play Vista. He still pops and works with the Ace 7 drop. And he's great against Law and low-cost Zoro. Uh, you can go 3-curve pop and then 5-curve pop. Personally, I don't play Vista, but I could see him being semi-relevant depending on like the meta or even like if you just play at a locals, depending on your locals. Brook I've tested and the minus 2000 is very solid for clearing and he's just got a very solid effect. Plus he's 5k, so he's a swinger and he has combo in hand. Overall, very solid card. And then I also, I put Teach in here. He has no combo, but he does enable for 7k swings and also helps recycle your hand. Uh, Zoro players use him to swing 8 on Beard because he himself gives plus 1,000. And then on top of that, you can get the Zoro boost. Uh, so I figured he deserves a spot here. Now we have the life events. Uh, these are pretty much the cards that are counters. Um, you for sure want to play at least four of these, uh, but you have a choice, you know, depending on your play style. There's guard point, which is 3k always. So it's a one card combo out of 7k swings, or you can play radical beam. Personally, I've been on the radical beam train. Uh, 4k at two life, which is also when Marco uh, is live for the effect. I did put in uh, Red Hawk. I've seen people play Red Hawk and the events. Uh, it does cost two, which is slightly different, but uh, it does let you pop a 4K. And then on top of that, you get more control because of the pop and it's game changing out of life. I've had, I've hit somebody's Red Hawk out of life and they minus 10,000 my white beard and I lost. So uh, it's a very effective card. Definitely worth considering. Crossfire. Uh, I play three. This card is amazing since you can use it at any time. And what I mean is when they attack or during my main. And it goes minus 4,000. And then, of course, every event in your deck is also a 1k counter if you need it to be. But in testing, being able to just minus something to swing over it. Or if they swing and you have that two dawn up, you can also just minus a character. It's only a character, though, so you can't use it on the leader. So that's also something to keep in mind. Uh, for some removal, you have Fire Fist. I've tested this, and I'm currently testing Jet Pistol. But this card is great for clearing. Uh, and it's even better in the Striker build because you do have to discard one event card with it. Uh, or it could be a crazy meta call for Law decks. Uh, being able to pop a 5,000 and a 4,000 is just great because law you just get rid of good stuff from law uh and then we have jet pistol uh, you know it's jet pistol it's great for clearing big drops especially with crossfire in combination with crossfire you can use the clear 10k so you could go crossfire jet pistol white beard and then you still have a little bit of dawn to play with sea quake uh, it's low cost removal, great for getting rid of small blockers or 6Ks in combo with the 7 drop ace. Uh, we have round table, uh, drops a character by 10K. Uh, it's seen competitive play and it's great for clearing slash popping any card.
and it's finally searchable with buggy plus in ace you can also just use it for a 1k combo should your opponent not be playing any big drops that you need to worry about then we have diable jambe and unblockable swings uh, can be very meta call or meta relevant and since it's searchable uh, it can be a solid one of since you just need a buggy to see it or if you're playing striker you just need a striker and see it and then we have striker uh, this card completely changes the DNA and approach of Ace while generating mass value from events. Uh, I have a Striker build on the channel already. Be sure to check that out. Now, before you go firing off Vamp, you're bad. The purpose of this is to pretty much highlight solid red cards you can play and use to build your Ace deck and your play style with a solid starting point. Uh, with that in mind, we also have Gordon. Gordon return to the bottom of the deck minus somebody by three if you really want to give him three dawn you can do a swing get a card possibly connect with life and then put him on the bottom plus if they play low cost you could potentially just go swing on a 2k put him to the bottom minus something else sea quake or this so Gordon's also playable and if you found this video of value, over 90% of my viewers are still unsubscribed. And if you could just do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And let me know in the comments below what other content you'd like to see. I appreciate you all for watching this far. And I hope this helps you build your ace deck.